As promised, I'm just doing a short video about how I do my home warfarin testing. Um, basically, this is the kit, which in my case is a Roche Coagitec XS. Now, the way the system works in my area, I have to purchase the hardware, which is this, and also I've purchased my own sharps. The doctor then provides the strips on prescription and the Warfarin Clinic will provide me with a sharp spin for afterwards. The way the strips work, and to ensure accuracy, is each, each batch of strips is given a, a batch number and a, and a chip is put in the packet with it. That chip is inserted into the side of the tester and that way the quality control information for this batch of strips is then loaded into the machine. Before you start, and I've already done it, always wash your hands in warm water. Apart from anything else, it helps if your hands are warm when you do the test. The sharps are a single use, disposable. Um, they are particularly this type of pricker is only for single patient use. Make sure it's clicked down properly, otherwise you just end up sticking it in before you want to. When you turn the machine on, it goes to a quick start-up routine, and then the flashing light is just telling me to put a strip in. The strips can be stored at room temperature, and as long as the lid's not left off, they'll keep until the expiry date which is usually around a year in fact this batch goes through to October next year again so the usual year it comes up 059 just to check that I have the right chip inserted and then you press M just to confirm at this point now the machine will ready itself it kind of pays just to warm your hands up make sure by the time it bleeps I'm ready This bit takes just a couple of minutes and then as soon as it beeps we're ready to take the blood sample. This can, there we go. I've now got three minutes in which to take a sample. I always use the side of my little finger because that one seems to bother me the least. If you ever have to do a repeat test you have to use a fresh finger each time. It's just a case of put it on, click. Give it a couple of seconds to relax because for some reason the finger can spasm inside and then it doesn't bleed properly. And then after that just push it, push a droplet out and drop it onto the slide. It beeps to say it's got a sample of blood and that comes up with a QC and a tick so that's done the quality control checks to ensure that it's going to measure properly and then it's just a little bit of waiting. And that's it, that's come up as a 2.1 I'll record that in my warfarin book and I'll ring that into the clinic tomorrow and we'll discuss dosing which since that for me is a bit of a drop although it's in but the ruling is that I take the readings they tell me the doses and that's all there is to it